This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, we're ready to talk about the biggest sentiment stories and have lifestyle conversations. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchor Sife Omai. Stop looking at me. And if you're Luo Shin Who is not looking at me? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you guys doing? Good. I like your look. Today. Thank you. Very Thank nice. you. Thank you. I like yours too. Always. Thank you. <laughs> Moving on to men that are fighting. Relationship blogger Joru Ulumofi has filed a lawsuit against Instagram blogger Tunde Ednot as he vows to get him deported back to Nigeria. I don't understand though. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Excuse me. Um, I don't understand. <laughs> like, the, um, suing someone for defamation then gets you to be deported. Please explain, lawyer. Um, but what was the defamation that he used to... For? Because it, it was difficult to read um, the um, f paper, the documents, the way it was um, used on the blog. So I couldn't read it properly. But um, is it not just suing him for the story we talked about where he said he writes his own stories and says someone sent it to him. Is that is that the same thing? Mm. Mm -hmm. One of them. Ah, okay. Oh, it's one of them. How many? What else? Please tell us. They all the stuff like always saying, they had the back and forth. It wasn't just that story. They had the back and forth the last time and it was saying several stuff about him. I can't remember the details precisely now, mm. but I can remember he was saying all the stuff about him when they had their back and forth. It wasn't just that. But um, back to your question and why okay. is he going to get him deported? They, um, I read the court documents. It is also stating that um, Tunde had not traveled to America with a B1 and B2 visa, which is business and pleasure visa, right? Mm -hmm. And he's supposed to have been back a long time ago and he's been there for years. So how so, did he get this information? <clears throat> Well, is for him to be using a legal team, it has to be a very good mm. information because I don't think lawyers will get involved with false with information. Mm. Yeah, so it has to be something legit. So if you travel to another country with a B1, B2 visa, which is business and pleasure, right? You're supposed to do your business probably three months, six months, and be back in your country. Mm -hmm. But Tunde had not has been in America since, I think since it was catching cold back then with the song. So <laughs> he's been... He's been there and um, he hasn't been back. So for you to be running away from the law, to be a fugitive, you shouldn't be committing any offense, whether criminal, whether civil mm. offense, whether whatever it is. So That's the connection. Yeah, right. so if you're comm committing an offense, then you're bringing yourself under the radar of the law. So the law has every right to kick you back to your country because it's just because they haven't found out yet that you're not even supposed to be in the country. That's why you're still there. Mm. Do, you, do you think... It's only Edna's coming back to Nigeria is a bad thing for him right now. I don't think he wants to be in Nigeria. No, but even if that's like the, uh, what happens, mm. would that really be the worst thing that can happen to him right now? Actually, not really. I mean, he'll still do well if he has that page. Uh, yeah, because he has the platform already and the money he's making for the platform, the platform would work for him to a certain degree. Uh, if it's helping him in America, it will surely help him here. Mm -hmm. So, because, I mean... Okay. You wouldn't know that people are the probably good thing still for me in this story. Platform. It's not like I like fight too, but I like the fact that two men are fighting mm. because usually it is women bloggers they are at each other's shoulders, and you now see one man come, they don't they like each other. each other. Women never Why support each other. Jealousy, you see, that's the problem with our world and our society, uh, and each and every one of us as a whole. The okay. fact that basically, we're, basically everybody has problems, the, the fact, mm. yeah, yeah, basically, we all have problems. Um, so it's not that we there's, there's to lie about. Uh -huh. But the <laughs> thing is, um, we keep saying that we want to change that narrative of saying that women don't like each other, women don't like each other, and all of that, and then when it happens to men uh, why are we making this about gender why can't uh, we just focus on what is wrong are you wrong. gender blind as well the person that says you don't see gender everybody just won is that is that what you're pushing i was basically saying that, to say even, that, that when two people are having issues can we just look at what the issue is and talk about it factually and not try to drag yeah, the gender exactly. into it. Yeah, exactly. So we shouldn't be happy when two men are fighting yeah, either. That we is why I'm just happy because wrong. now that it is happening to men as well, we realize that this is something that happened to humans. And at yeah. least so they're not, not, at least, at least they're not fighting with... Um, um, 
words um words war interesting right? so it's better yes. for me to try to take somebody's livelihood and comfort away what is rather than insulting it's you and calling you bitch action. and stuff like that this is case, what we case. have been asking for so it's, um, when you feel wrong, be affected. <laughs> who cares about your livelihood if it's you can about, do the time do the, okay, if, if you can do the crime then you will do the time wow. so if you have um defaming somebody on a constant basis and, and you're an illegal immigrant then you should know that look so because that's an illegal immigrant it's not to ha not, not like someone or have an opinion about the person. Oh, and put it on social media. So you're in support He's of cyberbullying. He's a social media person. I'm not, I'm not the defending this. Oh, are you in support of cyberbullying? I'm trying you your own point, if the fair, point because you're making it as if no. Uh, okay, imagine, ja. <laughs> that's the points, fam. Okay, if that's what you see. For though, me, that's, oh, that's what that's I see. see. I just you can see something else. I mean, you said your okay. piece, and I was happy yeah, for you. Truly like you that. said true, it. So true. for this one, men fight, women fight, people fight. Get do you over want to say it. more? No, or do move on? Okay, moving on to the next story. Nicki Minaj is pushing for a jury trial to determine the outcome of a copyright infringement lawsuit filed against her by singer Tracy Chapman. She was hit um, with the court action in October 2018 after New York DJ Funkmaster Flex obtained a copy of the song titled Sorry, which featured uh, Minaj X Nas and contained a sample of um, Chapman's 1988 track titled um, Baby Can I Hold You. Nikki had originally intended <laughs> to include the tune on her album called Queen, but ended up releasing the project um, without sorry on the album. Yeah. The Nigerian in us. Is that Baby Can I Hold You? Ah. <laughs> <Anna. laughs> Alright, so um, I listened to both songs, right? And um, the one that was the leak with Nas, mm -hmm. which is... Um, Nikki's alleged ex, or mm. let's even say ex, right? <laughs> it's just a faster version of Tracy Chapman's song, because I know that song. Mm. Baby, can I hold you tonight? Mm. You know that song, right? Mm -hmm. So Nikki Minaj, you know, baby, can I hold you tonight? <laughs> baby, fast can forward. I hold you? Fast forward. You, do you understand? Like, mm. it's the same thing. So Tracy has... Um, but she was initially has. saying that um, she was within her rights. That's why I, yeah. I wanted us to bring to conversation that do you think when she said that under the copyrights infringement, whatever, it was fair use, do you think that that's a... Well, I say a tangible conversation worth having mm -hmm. because if you, it, it, mm, I, I've seen this many times before. And I don't think fast forwarding or slowing down necessarily changes the sound. Like as long as somebody else can um, reference another song, then it pretty much sounds the same and stuff. So I don't know if that argument is worth. It's reminding me of that Katy Perry vibe of like, oh, seven, I can't even be bothered talking about it. But I think, I think it's not a case that can easily be dismissed. Like she's. Um, narrating i think they they are onto something there but 2018 is a long time a way to still be on this matter so i'm hoping that it comes to an end soon. which is why i think she's asking for the jury so they can get over it mm. um, as soon as possible yeah so i have a unanimous decision mm. it's mm. interesting how when it comes to Nicki minaj's personal life and stuff Nas name never really comes up. Mm. I mean, we know about safari we know about um because it didn't really last, so. yeah yeah Really and maybe they're decent. Mm. Like they have a decent mm. relationship. Yeah, yeah. yeah like it wasn't a bit toxic. More messy. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't mm. toxic. It was. I'm sure you have those exes that are so irrelevant that it's you can't even it's hold not really back. Really irrelevant. Blood. They're just yeah. cool. Uh. I think we still all have those exes that we still all reach out to and we still talk to. We can still hang out with them, vibe with them, but you know that there's no connection. I don't anymore. know if it's just me, but I feel like that only happens when the when the whatever you guys had wasn't so gang gang. Mm. Like no. I don't see how it's to be so gang gang and you be so friendly. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. especially when both parties have moved on. She has a man, you have your girl. We're both happy. You're successful. I'm successful. We're doing our thing, and then. Yeah, why not? Why can't we have dinner every now and then? Why can't we have lunch every now and then? Why can't Mash we share... Why dinner? Leave it at lunch. Oh, okay, mm. maybe lunch. Okay, yeah. <laughs> why can't we share phone calls? Why can't we see each other's um, post on social media? And be like, oh, you, what's good? Yeah, you can, you can have me on social media. Which one, oh, but why Chris Brown does the social media to Rihanna? You will turn it to headline. Because he used to be a wife beater. Oh, wife. A woman beater, sorry. Okay. Um, tea time continues right after the short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still 
end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. 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 Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Make music and people are still by. Some say they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. Music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs>Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. I was inspired by Animal Sounds, and this is coming from DJ Kopi, as she reveals inspiration behind her new album. She said, and I quote, I went back to my roots where I am from, Ekwe, and mixed with the locals for inspiration. I visited my family's farm and recorded loads of ambient and animal sound samples. If you listen very carefully, you can hear this in each track. End of quote. I saw your comments, that's why I've been laughing. Somebody said, no wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wonder what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> I didn't get it too. So it was just for you to fill up mm. the blanks. Like the person just said, no wonder. And mm. I was trying to wonder No wonder why. it was an amazing album, yeah? Yeah. No. Uh, according to an amazing debut album. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. No wonder it could be anything. Mm. I know that it sounds like animals singing. I don't know. Ah. That's another one now. Okay. Okay. No wonder. Yeah, <laughs> is that one? It's, it's no wonder. But please, my girl did well on this she album. Did you know, so she did. If it's animals, please go visit. Maybe visit the zoo yeah, this time. I did. mean, we have a lot in Nigeria. University of Ibadan has one. Like almost all universities, like they have their zoological areas. Mm. And just pay more attention. Visit well, the villages. Um, I think she did really well with this album for, I think, her growth and the, I guess my expectations as well. Um, you can tell that this person did not rush to do this album. No, she, she didn't take rush. it as a joke. Now, I'm, I'm, she might not have, um, I might not have been a target audience for a lot of the sounds that were on there. I think she had this trap-like song. Mm -mm, it didn't work for me. But I, even even with the fact that I said it didn't work for me, I could still. I could still appreciate the effort and it didn't sound like a terrible music it just was a different sound so i'm really glad that she doesn't have any terrible music on that album so for me that would be a kudos to her kudos to her effort and her inspiration for animals i think mm. it worked i think this just goes Why back you have to, to end it like that, that? Um, when a lot of people need different people have inspirations there are a lot of people that would go to um Natural I think Kanye West went to um, a desert now. Can you remember? Calabasas. Uh, hmm? Kanye West. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was time he went to a place in Africa. That's how they always say it. Say, <laughs> yeah, so anywhere you can get your inspiration for, please go ahead. Though. Yeah, so basically that's what I'm saying. Like people go to different places for inspiration. You see people that say it's when on the plane, when they're on the plane, that's when they can write music. Mm -hmm. You see people that will say, oh, I need to be close to the water to write music. You see people. So I'm glad that she has finally discovered oh, what Adele? works for Adele can only has, she has to be heartbroken to write music. Mm -hmm. Is that's that what she, she said? Oh, we that's, what, that's what she said. Oh, yeah, well, we're so still waiting for this album. Was she was not heartbroken yet. Are we praying for heartbreak? Uh uh, the divorce <laughs> wasn't heartbroken enough. Trisha. Well, maybe she didn't hear that. No, he hits uh, if he, he hits Joe. Uh, okay. okay, anyway, we're waiting, Sha. I'm so, sure it will be a hit. killer. Mm. So, um, I'm glad that she has found what works for her. So, if it's animal sounds that work for her, please like. Stay Keep more around that. animals. Yeah, stay more around. Or maybe it's not just animals. Maybe she needs to discover other things. Maybe she's someone who works with natural elements, like mm. like um, trees, like you know, mm. nature, stuff like that. So she just needs to explore. Or maybe find she should herself. just watch more Naji Wild, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. No, it can be, it can be now, compared. Wow, this she animal can, thing is not she can work, very she can work. But let's not forget that she also said she went to her village and mingled with the locals. So, yeah, that's a part of it. I feel, like, just I feel like Copy always does that where she try. I mean, there's no other way to go. If you've already been up, the mm, next person come down. down yeah. yeah. But it's always interesting when she tries to do that, like, you know, attach, um, I guess, interact with the grassroots and have more inspiration from that. 
I think it's done very tastefully because a lot of the times people sound like that, it irritates me. But mm. she, I don't know how she does it. Maybe because she genuinely just has good intentions. It, it looks really nice. And because that she you does have that. no doubts about the fact that she's actually living the life. So when she tells you she goes down, she goes down. No, what, I, what, what people do that I don't like is that it has this like um, savior mentality. Like, oh, I'm going to go and bless them with my presence. That's, mm. the, that's the one I see. And she doesn't really have, she doesn't have that at all, actually. Mm -hmm. so that's nice. Okay, cool. Um, moving on to the next story. Sako Dear has changed my life. No more negative trends. And this is coming from Aquapem Polo. Mm. Is it Aquapem Polo? Aquapem. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, it, it's interesting to see how somebody can be so influential. Mm. Don't, let, let's not Sakodye. conclude. Mm. You know, this thing is always in the blood. What? Let's wait for another fight. If she doesn't <laughs> display, then I, I believe that she has been influenced. <laughs> right now, she might just be she have been influenced by the fact that the picture is really nice. My influence and she's going is with even, a nice caption. My influence is not even about her influence. It's mm. the fact that this picture actually made her trend positively. Mm -hmm. And it's about Sakoji. Mm -hmm. For me, oh, that, you know, I, sometimes you don't really consider how impactful the person would be. Like, yeah, you think course, about Sakoji, yeah. you think about music, whatever. You wouldn't, I wouldn't really have thought that putting him with the, beside someone would then almost damage control just a picture like it's not even anything serious so for me that type of influence that sakade has came as a shock but not like oh i'm surprised but it was a pleasant pleasant surprise if that mm -hmm. makes if i could say that so it's nice obviously i have to agree with you that that doesn't mean that she might not be in the news for something else wrong but i like that she acknowledged um that she enjoys the positive impact and she would like to con continue that that um trend right, yeah so I, I hope i hope she does I like your train of thought on this one when you're talking about the impact of certain people. It's not just on the fans now. Like you rightly said, this that's from the fans' perspective that she's trending in and under lights mm. because of... But let's look at it from her perspective. She feels like a sarcodia has really helped her, right? Mm. We, we can wait a few months, right? And she might get into something else. But the fact that she already says someone she looks up to and she's really excited about it. I think it's now left to her to make sure she keeps in touch because a lot yeah. of people meet people mm. and you see them as your role models and then you don't bother to keep in touch for them to mentor because mm. I don't think a sacco there will continuously call and aquap him. But if you call from the hey, bros, hope you're good, hope you're right, and all that, and then he shares some, you know, it could just be two minute chat, but within that two minute, he said, Hope you're good, though, hope you're mm. making sure you're doing this, you're doing that. Those words alone could really impact her and the way she thinks and the way she moves on in her career. So it boils down to what we've been telling all the celebrities you don't know the power you wield. True. So sometimes you just have to be of your own best behavior for mm. somebody to see you as a role model to even see you and say that you have influenced their brand so i'm really glad about sarkodia's impact on the fans and on another fellow celebrity even if she's c-list or whatever list she is on but she is also a celebrity in our right and yeah. she still looks up to another celebrity so that's yeah. amazing what you said just reminded me of an email i need to respond to but yeah mm -hmm. i have to do that but um let's not forget where she said that her patience um patience is what have, has brought her mm. this far and it has helped her meet kdb and sakodi so she didn't have said that uh, well mm. i mean it's it's for her it is working for her because this definitely has increased her influence as well yeah, of course. yeah meeting kdb i think that was the first time i got to really know who aqua pem is with her wonderful twerk and moves you know so um it is doing something for her and if that's how she wants to define her milestones when it comes to success then mm, i think that's sure. good so she's mm. saying patience is a virtue so regardless of her drama she has patience as well so mm. maybe we should pick that from the story as well i replied that email please yeah i, I have to because i feel like someone is really waiting yeah. and i'm not replying but sorry it's work anyway moving on akon is delighted to endorse and serve as a chief strategist for brooke pierce's um u.s presidential campaign talking about pierce he said i have always known brooke pierce to be a stand-up guy he's a real he's a real people's person and he doesn't operate between party lines we share the same dream of pushing america forward for everyone without showing favoritism to one particular base end of quote mm. This is a dream I have for Nigeria, where our political space can also be free for the youth and for um, intelligent young Nigerians mm. that feel like, okay, I've gotten to a certain level in my career and I'm successful up to a point where I've um, 
held a leadership role for a while and managed people. It's not easy to run a country, but you mm. see that interest and the interest of the people at heart. And knowing that your influence will probably, um, what's it called now, infuse the younger generation in politics, I think it's amazing that, you know, we're seeing the likes of Aiken Broke. Broke was, was a child star. He retired from acting when he was just 17. Dude um, started a cryptocurrency company very um successful one at that so i think it's just the prayer for nigeria where we would get to that space where our young space people for independent to, candidates. yeah where okay. our young people too i think we need that yeah we'll mm, be able they, they, to they, just they, stand up and say that I, because of my influence right now i should be able to run i sh i think i'm capable but i don't even think the, with the young even people believe in build themselves that, that much. Buhari sense i think that's also very possible in it that you can for independence run. no you can't run independence uh, you have to be on part of a party, party. Yeah. Oh, okay well either ways i still i thought you were actually going to say that um you know talking about two different parties and how um maybe the the political space can start to function without just having two strong um, parties that are mm. the same but that's not the case even in america and it's still, still mm. not here what comes to my mind was kanye west i feel like this is how i expected him to endorse use his black influence to endorse um, the good of the nation and he failed terribly well because Ka um, Ka Akon has the capacity to do what Kanye West is doing but he's definitely not moved by ego so you can see how both um, um, characters are exuded and it's completely different I like that he's putting he's, he's not he's backing on this yeah. person even though he's not going to go that much far in, in the race but this is what I expected from Kanye there seems to be like a genuine intention yes. in what they're what doing what do you think yeah. he's yeah. not going to win no because yeah. it's a two party system globally until I see another country that's successfully done that where there's not a two party system mm. we, we have other parties that are doing you know performing for us but we know the two parties that are involved Okay. Anyway, shout out to Akon with all he's doing. He's Akon City, Akon as well mm. and all that. He's, he's doing a lot and I think he's one person that the media has not really paid so a lot of attention yeah, to. So, um, shout out to him. I think that's how I end this conversation. Thank you for watching and please send your opinions via WhatsApp to 090 or just tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this conversation and all our exclusive content and even our previous episodes on our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Washenkei and the entire production team. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe. Thank you.